Hi there, hope you're having a pleasant day wherever you may be. I've just completed the Flagstaff 3. Just kidding, I don't know if that's really a thing. I'm at Walnut Canyon National Monument. Walnut Canyon is located about 10 miles east of the city of Flagstaff and it is closely related to nearby's Wupatki and Sunset Crater National Monuments. Now I've visited those in previous videos so if you'd like to take a quick look at those go right ahead but uh, what do you say we get back to this one? So what is Walnut Canyon? Well as the name would suggest it is a canyon carved by Walnut Creek but the reason it is well known is because of the large collection of cliff dwellings by Native Americans that lived here several hundred years ago. It's believed that small groups of people have lived in the canyon over thousands of years, but the most notable group were the Sinawa people uh, that showed up here around 600 AD. Uh, now, even though they lived here, it wasn't until the eruption of nearby Sunset Crater uh, that drove several people away from that region, uh, including over to Wupatki, but uh, several came over here. Uh, so around 11 to 1200 AD was probably the heyday of Walnut Canyon, as far as I can tell. The Sinawa appear to be ancestors to a lot of the local tribes of today, like the Havasupai and the Zuni, uh, but it seems like the Hopi are the one that get mentioned the most on the signage here at Walnut Canyon. The name Sinawa uh, is derived from the Spanish term for without water, uh, Sinawa, uh, because the tribes here were able to farm and live with very little water. There were periods of uh, the year where they had to have uh, stored water during the wet months to get through the dry months. Because despite being close to Walnut Creek, uh, it was something of an unreliable source of water because uh, there were periods of time during the year where it was basically dry. As far as the canyon itself, physically it's very suited for cliff dwelling. Even though the walls are very steep, they uh, have these sort of terraces and they kind of naturally cut into themselves, uh, which is perfect for uh, putting a dwelling. Now, these are pretty simply designed, but uh, pretty effective. Uh, the wall uh, was obviously a barrier for things like rain, snow, things like that. It would also insulate the heat during the winter, um, kind of protect from the sun and uh, heat during the summer. Uh, this door here uh, was usually covered with some sort of uh, animal skin or fur. And then there's a little hole here. So that way when they would build a fire on the inside, air would come in through the door underneath that skin and then circulate past the fire and then the smoke would come out the little hole. You can see a lot of the smoke marks on the roof here. Very ingenious, very simple, very effective. And then you hit this stretch, which seems to be like a little neighborhood or something. Uh, there's several dwellings here in a row and a lot of them are still pretty much intact. It's pretty cool to see them all uh, lined up, up close. Now, unfortunately, at this spot, there's not much left of the dwelling because uh, in the late 1800s, uh, early 1900s, it was actually encouraged for visitors to try and find artifacts and take them home. Now, obviously, our mindset has changed uh, over the decades and uh, for the better, I would say. Uh, but yeah, uh, had it kept going, this is probably what they all would have looked like. But a lot of these are really well intact and it's pretty cool just to see them. Now, the trails only take you to a handful of the dwellings. Um, if you look off into the distance on the canyon walls, you'll actually find several more uh, that are inaccessible. Unfortunately, with the iPhone, uh, the zoom is not that great, and they're all in shadow, so it's really hard to make them out. But if you look behind me here, uh, there's a few right, right on there. But uh, unfortunately, I can't get a very good shot of them. So when you visit Walnut Canyon, uh, there is a visitor center um, with a little bit of information, short little video if you want to watch it. Um, but there's also two hikes. The first hike is the, they call the Island Loop. There's a meander in Walnut Creek that sort of created an island um, that has a lot of dwellings that they made the trail kind of double around. Um, so you can see a lot of them up close. It's really neat to walk around them and see them. All told, that trail is about one mile. 
Um, unfortunately, part of the loop was closed off because uh, it's still really icy. It's January right now. So I didn't get to do the complete loop, but I saw pretty much most of it. One major element to the visit to Walnut Canyon, steps. There's a lot of them if you want to do the Island Loop Trail. So uh, get used to it. Uh, I think total, when it's all said and done, uh, you end up climbing about 700 on your hike. Another trail you can do here is the Rim Trail, which is all flat, um, it's paved, it's very easy to do, uh, but it mostly just gives you a couple overlooks of the canyon, which are, which are nice. And then there's a little loop that you can uh, take to see some ruins. Part of the rim trail will also lead you here to this uh, two-room Pueblo. Um, it's off from the rim a little bit um, and also represents a shift in architectural changes around 1100. So naturally the question would arise, what happened? Why is there nobody here? Well, we would look from the outside and think, oh, it was just abandoned. Um, but uh, from the Native American perspective, and in this case, the Hopi, uh, they say, well, oftentimes it's a place will fulfill its role in their religion. And once that role is done, they'll move on to the next. Um, that's something that we just never really take into consideration, do we? Now, like I said, uh, this is really closely related to nearby Wupatki and Sunset Crater. Um, and like any good trilogy, you can visit any one of them and feel satisfied, but a complete picture is sort of painted when you visit all three. Now that I've visited the third one, um, it's just kind of neat to see how it all just kind of fits together. Well, that does it for this one. Thanks for joining me on this trip to Walnut Canyon National Monument. Hope you had a good time. Um, thanks for joining me on this completion of the Flagstaff 3. Again, I'm not sure if that's a thing, but uh, hope you had a good time. Hope you learned a little something, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Um, no, you're not supposed to walk in there. Uh, it said that rodents that carry diseases uh, made these their home, so to not go in there, but... <laughs>